You ever have one of those nights where you had too much to drink and you're on Amazon late at night? Yeah, me too. That's how I ended up with the Neo Geo Mini here, the international version, which has over 40 Neo Geo games. Now, the interesting thing about the Neo Geo for me is the history, because this was like a six or $700 system when it came out when I was a kid, and there was no way my parents were ever going to buy a Neo Geo for me. So I'd look at it at the game stores, and I would stare in awe as it sat there in the window showing the demo of these beautiful games, but it was far outside my ability to purchase it. Well, thankfully, I can relive that childhood and pretend I did have the money back then by getting this little mini arcade. And it's really fun. Out of all of the little mini arcades and things that I've ordered late at night when I've had too much to drink, this one's my favorite by far because the graphics are fantastic and the game selection is pretty amazing. And that's kind of what you hear universally about Neo Geo. So I don't have a ton of information about this company or know a ton about it, because like I said, it was never something I could afford anyways. But I do know it was quite a success for their arcade systems, and they were bringing the arcade systems to the consoles. And that's how we ended up with the Neo Geo, because they kind of figured out as I understand it, that, hey, there's a market for this stuff in the consumer world. We can take all that technology we have in arcades and put it in the console and see if people will buy it. And they did. It was fairly successful. I actually thought it wouldn't have been at that price point, especially back then in the 90s. But lo and behold, I was wrong. But I have one now, and it's so much fun. So let's look at it playing the little mini arcade, and you can hear the clickiness of the keys. Now that's my son playing it. Now this doesn't have the micro switches, which apparently were a big deal. And even the external remotes that you can add onto this do not have those micro switches. I didn't have original Neo Geo, but apparently they were quite amazing, gave you more control. But I'll say the controls on this mini arcade are quite good. Now, if you've ever played with something like a retro pie, then you may be familiar with menus like this. You've got some basic settings here. You can sort your menu from default, recently played, whichever you prefer. You have some screen options here to expand it, especially if you're using the mini HDMI port on the back that it has, like I'm doing here to capture it. You have some image quality optimization options as well. And you do have two controller jacks that are USB-C and they sell two additional controllers, which are quite pricey and don't have the micro switches in them, the Neo Geo mini pads, but those are an option if you wanna play some of these in two player mode. So it's quite a, great little mini arcade considering all of the things that you can do with this little device here which makes it pretty cool so now we're going to go play some games some of the ones that i wanted to play when i was a kid and metal slug of course has to be one of them that we check out now i don't have audio the audio is quite good and loud from this device but i can't show audio because every time i do in a video game it gets flagged so i'm just not going to play the audio for this but know that the speakers are more than adequate for this little arcade machine. Plus you have a headphone jack in the back, so you're gonna be able to have a lot of fun and keep it private if you want to. For instance, not wanting your kids to know you got a mini arcade because they'll wanna play with it all day long like they do with this one in my case. But anyways, this game Metal Slug is awesome. I had so much fun. Honestly, I'm really impressed with the graphics. Now this is available on other platforms now. You don't have to get the mini arcade to play it, but there's just something about the nostalgia of playing it from Neo Geo, an official source, and trying out this game with the little mini arcade. It's pretty cool, something awesome to have around your office as well. So you can de-stress in between meetings and things. And I like this game, I love everything about it. It's still, to me, even though it was made in the 90s, completely uh, current and, and fun today for today's generation. So the next one I'm checking out is Ghost Pilot. Now this is a really cool game as well, created in the 90s. I think the big difference here is in you're in a prop plane. And you're in a prop plane that drops bombs, that shoots endless ammo. It's your typical kind of shooter here. This, you could easily replace that prop plane with a spaceship and you know have a, a black background and some little stars and you would think you're in space. But it's a pretty cool design, typical fun arcade game. Maybe it doesn't hold up to the test of time as far as graphics and things go, but good enough. Good enough to have some fun with, and I certainly did with this one. By the way, let me know in the comments below what your favorite games are for the Neo Geo. 
The next one we're checking out is Art of Fighting. So there is a bunch of fighting games on this, and this certainly reminded me heavily of Street Fighter. That was a game, of course, I played a ton of as a kid, one of my favorites, and immediately when I looked at the graphics, I thought of Street Fighter, although I'm quite certain, but my memory may be you know, tricking me here, that this has way better graphics than Street Fighter, the original Street Fighter did. You know, there is some slowdown in some of these scenarios with the device, like right there when they're doing kind of these animation scenes that I noticed. And you can see how there's some pausing. And that's really one of the only issues that I ran into. King of Fighters, again, another one of the street fighting like games out here. So fighting games were a big deal and it makes sense considering a lot of these were arcade ports. So this was definitely one where you would be using a lot of your coins. Those of you who don't remember arcades, they were amazing. They should be brought back. They were a cool hangout spot, but they don't exist anymore. King of Monsters is probably my favorite game out of everything I played on the Neo Geo. I just absolutely love this game. My son loves this game. It is so much fun to play. You're our monsters. You're attacking each other. If you're into Godzilla, you're going to love this stuff. You crash into buildings, you get shocked, your environment's attacking you. People come around and attack you while you try to kill this monster. You can, of course, boss toss them. You could do all kinds of cool things in this game. Definitely, without a doubt, my favorite. So check out King of Monsters, if nothing else, on the Neo Geo. Definitely worth the price alone of this little console. Speaking of the price, I picked this up for $31 on a sale on Amazon, but they're generally between 50 and 70, but 30 is definitely where you want to be at with this. I feel like it's a great value at 30 bucks, especially considering you don't get that many HDMI cable with it. So I hope you're enjoying this little video, this little purchase I probably shouldn't have made, but I've had so much fun with. Let me know if you had a Neo Geo growing up or if you longed for one like I did. Also, don't forget to check out our sponsor, DigitalOcean, of the entire Destination Linux network. DigitalOcean is the most amazing cloud platform out there on the planet. do.co slash DLN. Head there. Let them know that you love this channel. Sign up for free $100 credit. Cost you nothing, and you can learn a ton in the process, especially with everything going on right now. It's a good idea to check out DigitalOcean. So again, look forward to your comments. Hope all of you are safe and doing well. If you've picked up some other mini arcades you love, I want to hear about it. So comment down below and thank you for continuing to support this amazing community. And until next time, get out there and fill your brains. I'm serious this time. Like, get out there and fill your brains. You got to do it. It's important. Don't forget to subscribe and like and subscribe to this video.